we're going to learn how to give your grid coordinates where you are and we know we are at the junction that begins the first loop right here right next to Cranberry Lake where the yellow line divides that's where we are and we're going to give the grid coordinates the first thing you look for is which longitude line is closest to where you are on the which side? The, the west, west side. West. And that line is what, Kai? 39. 39, because those numbers at the bottom of the map are the numbers indicating what longitude line we're talking about. So this line is 39. And it's the closest line, longitude line, on the west of where you are. And that between the two longitude lines is how many meters? That's where we are two, here. 200. No, between the two longitude a lines. Oh, a kilometer. A kilometer, which is how many meters? 1,000 meters. 1,000 meters, right. That's so the distance meters. from this longitude line number 39 to where we are is about 200, 200 meters. 200. So we'll just use the number two then. So the, the three numbers to begin our grid coordinates are 3, 9, 2. 2 standing for 200. Now, the next thing we're going to do is find the latitude line that is to the south of us, the closest one. Which one is that? 45. Okay. So we're here. This latitude line is the closest to where we are south of us. So that is number 45. So that gives you your next two numbers. Now how far away is it? What do you think? It's like... From the south line? Meters. About 200 meters too. So, so it would be 452. Now you put those six numbers together. Right. How, what are they? 39245. Exactly. That's the grid coordinates. Now, I'm going to add just a bit of information in case somebody says, oh, that's not right. Because when I press the button on, the, on my electrical apparatus, it gives a number much larger than that. And the reason it does that is because the longitude number is actually bigger than this. If you look on the bigger map, it has a, a like four in front of it. Yeah. So all these have four. So it's 435, 436, 437, 438. So, so it would be, really be 439, and then we'd put the full 200 just like you want it to. And that would be the easting number, 439200. And the northern line would be these have not four in front of them but actually two numbers four nine so it would be four nine four five two zero zero so those are so that's the more complicated statement but someone who understands the system you're using from your topographical map would pick it up because the numbers you're giving are actually contained inside these other numbers.